Hey, what's up? It's Blake. We're here at a Dollar Tree in snowy Michigan, and we're going to pop inside for a half hour and see how much money we can make, or at least show you how much money you can make by buying certain products to sell online on eBay or Amazon. This is called retail arbitrage, and it's a great side hustle. Let's get inside. First thing I saw when I walked in was the Garden Collection Solar Stake Lights. They're used to light up walkways in your backyard. Now these don't sell great right now, but in the summer, spring, and even fall, you can easily double your money in packs of four or eight. They're light, so first class shipping is not a problem. But what about right now? Well, St. Patrick's Day is coming up soon, and holiday seasonal bundles are a great way to make money on eBay. It's not gonna work on Amazon, and to be honest, I wouldn't recommend selling many of these things individually just because there's going to be a lot of supply out there. But what you can do to lower your competition, or lower the amount of competition you have rather, is make bundles. So you make your own unique bundle that's a good St. Patrick's Day costume. It's going to be fake gold coins, a sequin bow tie, a hat, a scarf, who knows what. Or maybe you're going to do a bundle of four window clings, or a bundle of four yard signs, or a bundle of four pairs of socks. It doesn't have to be four, I'm just throwing it out there. What you want to focus on though is making sure it weighs below one pound. As long as your bundle weighs below one pound, you're going to qualify for USPS first class mail, and that's going to be a heck of a lot cheaper than priority mail, or USPS or FedEx for that matter. If you make your own bundle, make sure it has good pictures. If you have good pictures, you're going to sell a lot more and make a whole lot more money. Generally, I qualify Dollar Tree flips into three categories. Seasonal, one-offs, and replenishables. This is going to be a one-off. I'm looking for branded stuff like these Marvel superhero puzzles. Those aren't really good. But over here, these are actually selling for a lot of money on eBay. These Micro Force Star Wars mini figurines. The sold listings were pretty interesting. I went through them on eBay and saw that these go for about four bucks per plus shipping. But if you open them up, some individual minifigs or whatever they're called, I'm calling them minifigs in this video, sell for a lot more than the unopened box, which is kind of weird, right? You'd think an unopened toy sells for more than an open toy, but because they're random, people are paying a premium to have the minifig that they want as opposed to a random selection where they might get some crap they don't want. Next up is Dollar Tree Easter candy. I think, again, seasonal stuff is always good, but the issue I ran into here was most of these items are new seasonal products and they don't have existing Amazon pages. However, when I looked up further at top, I saw some sweet tart candies you're gonna see in a second. These did have an Amazon listing. The only caveat was it was a three pack. So if you're qualified to sell food on Amazon, or I mean ungated, not qualified, if you're ungated to sell food on Amazon, then I'd recommend selling these everyone else maybe the peeps are going to be good like a five pack of five on ebay you can make a little bit of money on them but i think for the most part because peeps took off like six months last year of manufacturing they're going to have a lot of supply and it's not going to be an in-demand product all right we're back on the minifig train these disney minifigs right here they all have the same a uh, barcode on the back so you can't scan the barcode to get an individual listing on amazon or ebay but what you can do is just look the items up these Paw minifigures, the Monsters Inc. Randall minifigure, all of these are selling for various prices, almost all of them profitable. Again, they're only a dollar. They weigh about two ounces, so you're going to ship for like three bucks probably on average. So anything above $5.50 is going to be a small profit, and ideally you're going to sell these for about seven to eight bucks. Hopefully more, maybe not, I don't know, but again, these are a great way to get started on retail arbitrage and reselling in general. That's a quick point I wanted to make. I don't sell Dollar Tree stuff full time. I just make these videos, hopefully, to show you how easy it is to make some money and then you can scale up your own business. Like with this stuff right here, replenishables. So these meat envelopes, right now, currently, they're not selling for a profit at all. But if you buy 10 of them, you wait two or three weeks, as the prices uh, reach equilibrium, you're going to find a way to make money off of those. I see a lot of people in the Facebook group who just go to the Dollar Tree when they sell these and buy four or five. They don't have them in stock always, but they have them in stock down the road. That's kind of breaking the rules, but generally with stuff like this, replenishables, when you don't have it in your hand, as long as you know it's going to be in the store, you're going to be okay. Again, that's not like my official recommendation. I always am going to officially, on the record, say yes, have all your inventory. But these videos are for beginners, for newbies. And so if I can get you interested doing it this way, and then you scale up to thrift stores, garage sales, liquidation pallets, and maybe even truckloads, I think that that's worth the risk. So the next product, I'm not sure if it's always in Dollar Trees. I haven't seen it before. It's in the health and beauty, like home skincare section. 
And it's not these, although sometimes the Germacil ones do sell for a profit. It's a specialized product you're going to see in about three seconds probably. It's a diabetic foot cream. Now what's diabetic foot cream? I'm not totally sure, uh, but it has the keywords I look for. It's got a niche audience, that being diabetics. It has a niche purpose, that being to rub your feet with. Uh, and I think those two factors make it stand out in search results. And so because of that, it's selling for like nine to 12 bucks. For a dollar, that's a pretty good profit. Another interesting niche product is these pop flavored lip balm chapsticks. I know chapsticks the brand, I know, I know, I know, but we all call it that, so why not call it that in the video? These uh, soda flavored, if you're not from Michigan, lip balms, they're going, you know, the issue with these is the same thing with the Disney minifigs where it's all the same barcode. So it's hard to find individual ones, but I'm seeing people who are buying all the flavors, all the scents, uh, and putting them on one big bulk listing on eBay, as well as selling individual ones. And you're seeing them go for about three to five bucks profit, which is again, not a lot of money, but if you're new at this, you wanna make some cash on the side, I think these are a great place to start. All right, this next one blew my mind. You see that? Those are PS4 games, brand new Sony PS4 games. They're not fake, they're not bootleg, they're real, honest to God PS4 games for a dollar at my local Dollar Tree. I have never seen this before. I've seen Blu-rays, I've seen a few computer games, but I've never seen this many at all. I've never seen one uh, PS4 game, brand new video game. There ended up being uh, like 21 here. I bought them all for a dollar a piece. Uh, I'm gonna sell them online. I didn't even check what the sales rank was. I'm gonna wait until I get back in my car to do all the math, but there's just no way that I'm not gonna buy a brand new video game for a dollar. That's, uh, in my book, that's gonna be a buy, especially if they're like current or one past gen systems. It's just hard not to make money on that. So as you can see, I loaded up on PS4 games. I bought some of the minifigs. I put back the candy because I, honestly, I just eat it. So we're focusing on these things. And now let's go to my car and see what the actual numbers break down to. Wow, that was crazy. I bought 21 PS4 games, this one right here, Starlink for a dollar a piece. If I sell them for $10.95 on Amazon, including fees, including shipping, I'm making about four bucks a pop per game. Four times 21 is 84. That's $84 profit on one item over a half hour. A half hour of sourcing, it'll take me 10 minutes to list these. Very easy, very simple. That's over 100 bucks profit per hour. Now, of course, it's a side hustle, not a 40 hour a week job, but if you have time between your lunch breaks, if you have two jobs, if you're bored for a half hour, why not pop into Dollar Trees and look for brand new video games? Why not? This next week, I'll be going through all the Dollar Trees in my area trying to buy more brand new PS4 games. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys this week as I make more sourcing vlog videos to help you make some money.